Of course, hearing loss impacts so many parts of your life. But in today's Healthy Habits, we are talking about how hearing loss can affect something most of us do on a daily basis. I'm talking about driving. Our next guest is here to share some tips for driving safely with hearing loss. Please help me welcome back to the show, friend to the show, Dr. Lana Joseph Ford, the founder and CEO of High Level Speech and Hearing. Dr. J, can you hear me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love it. Deep, deep, girl. So good that we are talking about driving today because I never would have thought that this could be impacted by hearing loss. What issues mm -hmm. do drivers with hearing loss experience? Yeah, so drivers with hearing loss can experience all sorts of issues. And this is why it's super important for us to be covering this topic today. So thanks so much, Malik, for asking that question. So, you know, think about it. They, people that have hearing loss can't hear when they're in quiet and they can't understand when they're in noise. So these people are having a hard time already in typical environments outside of being in a vehicle with hearing. So imagine adding the noises that you encounter during traffic or the noises you encounter, such as the horn blowing or the ambulance or fire truck. These are important noises that we need to be able to be aware of. But unfortunately, depending on what type of hearing loss you have, you may not be able to hear these noises. So true. So what are some things that drivers with hearing loss, what should they do to maintain their safety while on the road? Mm -hmm. So number one, I always say it, a hearing aid would be the answer number one, right? Um, a hearing aid device will help you to be able to hear noises in your surroundings. Um, one of the issues that we encounter often is localization, and that means that people with hearing loss can't determine or detect where that sound is coming from. So if you're in your car and you can't detect where the horn that's blowing is coming from, that's a problem, right? So um, in addition to a hearing aid device, definitely make sure that you're keeping that radio low. Um, don't talk on the cell phone unless it's hands free and try to reduce as many distractions as possible because they all can really lead to an injury or even worse. So it's, it's best to be safe. So true. And you know, we all have them, cell phones, they are a benefit and sometimes a shortcoming, unfortunately, yes. but drivers with hearing loss, can they utilize their cell phone while driving? If so, how can they use it? Absolutely, they sure can. So the best way always to utilize a cell phone while driving a vehicle or operating a vehicle is by doing it hands-free. You don't wanna have that phone up to your ear. You wanna be hands-free when operating a vehicle at all times, right? But also people with hearing loss that opt into getting hearing aids actually have the ability to have wireless communication in which their hearing aid device routes calls, it connects directly to their phone. So it acts as a Bluetooth device. So it'll route calls from their cell phone, from their phone to their ears into their hearing aids. So it's best if, again, look into getting a hearing aid device if you can, um, look into programs that provide assistance with them. But again, when operating a vehicle, that's the best way for people with hearing loss to operate a cell phone. And that's what's so interesting because I'm going to be honest, Dr. J, there are some people who don't have hearing loss that don't hear my honks when I'm mm -hmm. saying move out the way or you're coming into my lane. In order to help, you know, people hear that, they get a hearing aid and then they're able to hear what's surrounding them, which may be a honk, which may be an ambulance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. It, it brings that awareness to all typical environmental sounds. And people with hearing loss are missing out on typical environmental noises. And that, that's just very, um, that's very dangerous in situations like you're talking about. If I'm, you know, I could be honking because I'm upset and having a bad day and I want you to get out of my way. Or I could be honking because your gas tank is leaking, you know, or I could be honking because your trunk is open or your door is open or because hey, I, I don't know, maybe you fell asleep on the road. These are very, very critical conditions that can occur, right, um, on the road while operating a vehicle. So we have to do all things that we can to be safe. So true. And of course, going to High Level Speech and Hearing Center, you will give them a hearing test and hopefully get them fitted for a hearing aid. I want to ask you one question. What is one common misconception 
people have about hearing aids that you would like to tell the audience out there on why they're not so bad? Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking that. So I think one of the biggest stigmas is the look, the appearance of a hearing aid device. And the truth is, hearing aid devices are very, very similar to Bluetooth devices nowadays, except they have the capability through the computer chip to help you to hear better. So I, I would tell people out there, don't worry about the way it looks. Trust me, if you want to look cute and sexy, you know, we can get that hearing aid that helps you with that appearance, okay? But at the end of the day, the most important thing for you is to make sure that you're healthy and safe. That's right, because we're all driving out on the roads these days. We want to make sure you stay safe. Dr. J, thank you so much for the advice and information this morning. Looking gorgeous as always. If you feel like you may be experiencing hearing loss, Dr. J has two high-level speech and hearing locations. She has one in New Orleans on Magnolia Street, and the other is in Harahan on Jefferson Highway. To set up an appointment with her, all you have to do is call 504-345-2984 or check out the website on your screen, highlevelhearingnola.com.